Hey guys, what's up? It's Trunks, and I'm back at you guys with another war recap for the Archer Outlaws. As you can see, we went up against an international clan, either from China or Japan. I'm not sure of what the language is from that, but the war stars were 57 to 56, 95.15% total destruction on our side to their 96.75. The town hall breakdown, this was a huge upset for them, or for us, against them. They had six Town Hall 11 attackers. A couple of them were engineered bases, uh, but they were able to have them all up the top. They were either 10.5s, 9.5s, um, all in that ballpark. But they all had Grand Warden and Max Town Hall 11 troops. We had two Town Hall 11s on our side, three Town Hall 10s. They had zero Town Hall 10s and two uh, 9.5s on their side, two R1 9.5. And the rest on our side were Town Hall 9s. They had two Town Hall 8s at the bottom, and uh, in that gap, they were all 9s. As you can see, they were able to pull off a 3-star on one of our Town Hall 11s and got one of our Town Hall 10s. They were able to take out our 9.5 and were able to clear all of our Town Hall 9s. On the other side, we were able to 2-star all of their Town Hall 11s with two Town Hall 10 attacks, which was huge for us since we were at the disadvantage. We were able to get three stars on their number three and five and six, which were all 10.5s and 9.5s. I guess you could say are 9.75 since they all had the Grand Warden. Um, the Town Hall 9s, we were able to three star everything down. And of course the Town Hall 8s that were the two at the bottom. Um, getting into the first recap, we are going to show Ben Aloner, a.k.a. Valhalla, stepping up big for us. He was able to get two, 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 two stars on the Town Hall 11s for us, so it allowed us to focus our Town Hall 11s on the 10.5s and below so that way we, we, we were able to secure the three stars, uh, which eventually ended up winning us the war. But these attacks were very key in our ability to win the war. As you can see, he starts off with a couple of troops around the outside just to pick up the free percentage that was left out there on these bases. And then he comes in at the top with a queen walk and a baby dragon to help push the queen across the top. Since there was not really a lot up there, he knew he was able to get in. Um, if he needed to burn a rage on the queen, uh, which I believe he does right there, he goes ahead and gets that rage down to get her back up to full health. Um, as she is tanking the Town Hall 11 point defenses, which is uh, pretty hard to do without the Rage after the recent buffs on all of the towers and the new levels at it. Uh, but the Queen continues to walk. He brings in a Golem at 9 o'clock. The two Bomber Towers are working on that Golem, but with the low DPS, they don't do much. Queen lures out the Clan Castle. He pops the ability, gets another Rage down to get her back up as she takes out that Clan Castle. He creates a nice Wizard Funnel over there at 9 o'clock, and then brings in some wall breakers to get into that top section. He has a couple Valkyries, brings in the Barb King as the Queen follows in, and the healers switch over to the Golem to help tank. Bowlers follow in with a jump to get into the core, and he drops his final Rage to go ahead and have that kill squad group rip through that first area. Bowlers get in the core of the base. The Queen is still doing work up top. He's able to get a couple of those buildings down. Bar King ends up beating through the wall and steps up and takes out that Inferno Tower. He's got five baby dragons and six loons in hand. Goes heads and drops the haste down to get the loons and to take out the point defenses at the bottom. And then he's going to just trail in the baby dragons while everything is spread out and working. So that way he's able to pick up this extra percentage at the end. He has bowlers working with healers on them so they're going to be able to do some extra work. And the baby dragons are all spread out with nothing targeting him, so they're able to sit back while the eagle is slowly charging up. And they take out and pick off some extra key percentage for him, so that way he is able to get a high percentage 2-star on this Town Hall 11 coming up as a Town Hall 10. Huge attacks for us. Good job, Ben Aloner. Up next, we are going to take a look at some 9.5 on 9.5 action. We have Venu stepping up big for us. He was able to step down and take out these 9.5s. He is a 9.5 himself, as you can see, with the 2831 heroes. Stepping up and taking this out, basically having 
Only Max Hogs as his Town Hall 10 journey begins. That was it. He drops both poisons on the clan castle as he uses a single hog to lure it out. Probably could have spread them out a little bit better, but at the same time, he was able to still accomplish taking out the clan castle. Gets a rage down for the queen, so that way she is able to push through and saves the ability, so that way he's able to have that later in the attack. He gets the queen to step up. She's going to end up taking out that air defense, which is key because he's coming in with the Laloon portion for the backside of the base. He's going to have the Barb Kim come in and step up and try to work to take out that queen. Pops the queen ability as the Expo and Archer Tower are targeting her. The queen steps up as the Barb King tanks and aggros and takes out the enemy Archer Queen and steps up and takes out the Barb King. At that point, he is able to start the La Loon portion from the backside. He gets a rage down, so that way, once those loons step up into that rage, they're going to get into that first air defense really quick. He's got a haste down as well, so that way they're able to power through the sweeper. He gets a second rage down to get through the high splash point area and this, as he's battling that sweeper. And he drops another haste down to get the loons into that, sec that third air defense still has a max hound from the clan castle tanking as he gets down his last two haste to get into that last air defense. He has one hound barely standing with any health left enough to tank while the last loons get into that final air defense which was key for him to pull off the three star. We'll go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Uh, he's got pups working on the cleanup. He's got plenty of loons coming in to the last two Teslas as and the final defense is an expo on ground. Uh, this pretty much cost it the 9.5, the raid, solely for the fact that he had that expo on ground. If he had it on air, then this raid might not have been as successful. Uh, looking next, we're going to take a look at some Town Hall 9 action. We have AR Walker coming in to step up and take out their number 9. Coming in with the HGHB. Coming in at 3 o'clock, he gets the Giants down with the healers on it. Has a wizard funnel. He gets the Queen down behind it. Has a nice wide funnel. The, bundle, the bowlers go straight in with the Barb King. Poisons down on the clan castle. Queen walks a little bit on it, but he's able to save it by popping that ability and getting the hogs down soon enough into the base. Bowlers and goal, or giants are still working the core base as he trickles a few hogs in from the top side, saves that queen as she continues her journey around the top side of the base, cleaning up the trash and picking off those point defenses. He's got seven hogs, two heels in the bag right now with, as he's being patient, ends up actually swagging a heel. I think that was probably a misdrop, but at the same time, he doesn't need it because he's waiting patiently as HGHB is a very slow attack. And this is typically what you want to do is you want to wait to see how your group works and just trickle in hogs as the point defenses are preoccupied with other troops. Since your hogs do not have high hit points, they are not able to be the tanks. And at this point, he has six hogs. He drops them in from the backside. He's got the baby dragon for the cleanup if he needs it, which he really doesn't since he'll have enough troops left over. But he gets that heal down on that splash defense and pulls through with two wizards in the bag to swag. Next up, we will take a quick look at Valhalla coming in and taking out number 13. He's coming with the stone go hobo. Starts off with two golems, a couple wizards on the outside to create a nice wide funnel. That way his troops will walk straight into where the bomber tower is. He's got two jumps to get all the way across the base. Plenty of golems with his heroes to tank. And he's got a bunch of hogs to bring in across the base as he gets into and has his golems tanking in the core of the base. We'll speed it up just a little bit. To get in the base, he drops the rage down so that way he will be able to power through the clan castle. The queen, relatively quick, has a heal down for the kill squad to keep all of them up in case some of that bowlers step in, they will not be taken out by the big bombs right there in the core. The queen and the wizards step up, take out the clan castle, and then he just starts trailing in. He's got 18 hogs. And there's not much left on the outside of these bases. 
gets to jump down on the backside, so the golems are going to get across the base. They end up start tanking the outside cannons, and once he sees that, he just starts bringing in more hogs on the backside to take out. There's no need for heals on this backside once those golems across the base and are tanking, because they are all the cannons, all the point defense that is left is already being preoccupied by those golems. So his hogs are able to just step up without any heals and take out the last few point defenses. He's got the queen left. He's got the king left. He's got a ton of hogs, and they are just working to clean up the trash at this point. He's holding on to a hog in hand, which he drops on the bottom side, and the wizard to start cleaning up the last round of trash and get this done. Very strong hit stepping up and taking out a base that actually gave us a little bit of difficulty. And he comes in with a very strong attack, two jumps, which is not typically seen, and uses all of his spells on the kill squad to end up pushing through this base. The final attack we're going to take a look at today is coming from Max. He stepped up big and took out this base, which had the moated expos, which typically, once you see these, it's somebody attempting to copy the Town Hall 10 style, where they do the moated inferno towers and try to prevent bowlers from being able to step up and take out these buildings. He had both expos on ground. So they were able to sit there and sit back and take a ton of damage on the kill squad. But Max recognizes this. He tries to get down a loon in the beginning to create the proper funnel. Uh, doesn't necessarily take out. I don't think he knew there was a trap there. I think this was actually a fresh hit. Um, but he ends up getting that down. The golem redirects right into the core. He has a jump and a heal down to keep the bowlers up with a rage to push them right through that area. And then he just starts trailing in hogs on the outside, picking off some of these smaller buildings that are not able to just deal with the mass form of the hogs. He drops a heal on the backside, which is shared for his hogs and his kill squad, which ends up keeping them up for longer. and allows his hogs to get back up to health. If you can ever get in a situation where you can share a heal with your kill squad and your hog pathing, it will help out because it is the price of two heals for one area. At this point, we'll put it in times four because he has enough hogs and both heroes with both the abilities left still standing to finish off this base. Very strong attack, swagging both abilities in the end. At that point, this will conclude the recap for the Archer Outlaws versus the Asian Clan. If you guys like what you're seeing, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I will be bringing you additional war recaps, more content, more how-to guides, if you have any questions or want any suggestions, go ahead and leave them in the bottom in the comment section and I will try to get back to you guys or bring you that additional content.